Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sundering Tarot. We're going to be doing a quick flip through today of Chris Ann's The Sacred Creator's Oracle. This is a Hay House Mass Market. 67 cards. It's a 2020 deck. And for those of you that are not familiar with Chris Ann, she's the uh, same creator as the Light Sears Tarot. Inside of the box says you are a secret creator and you can build the life of your dreams. Wishing you so much success and joy on your creator journey. Comes in a very lovely, strong two-piece box. Here is the guidebook. It's actually pretty nifty. Here is our copyright, of course. Nice table of contents um, for each one. A welcome message. Yay, gotta love it. How to work with the deck. Choosing your power cards. So a selection of cards, um, how to connect with your cards, ask a question, use spreads, pull cards, self-care messages. Um, and then, yes, um, Chrisanne is very lovely when it comes to spreads. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six spreads. So, yes, quite a lot. Um, you do get... This nice, um, pretty detailed description of each. Each card is number. You see it up at the top. You get what's actually on the card. Um, in this case, the, the zero, zero card, your starting point is overthinking can spoil the magic. And then you get an essential meaning, a self-care meaning, and um, an in-depth message. And then prompts, questions to ask yourself. In this case... Um, what new experiences are intriguing you right now? How can you benefit from a little more spontaneity? What's the worst that could happen if you ran with it? What's the best that could happen? So for those that like um, to have uh, video prompts, journal prompts, uh, or, or just a card to start with to use a question and to use it as a prompt for another deck, this is something to use. And this goes throughout each number, what's on the card, essential meaning, self-care meaning, um, description, and then more questions and prompts. This is actually pretty well in depth. And then at the very end, we have creator cards. Um, so this is each for the elements. So creator fire, creator air. So um, air suit, and then a, a deeper dive into the air suit and what that means for you as a creator. Like this, try drinking the wind. Um, that is an exercise that is a action for you to take. So that's actually kind of nice to have because that means it helps get you into touch with a specific element free sources yeah go deeper exercise exercises extras and freebies yeah um at sacredcreators.com that is nice that is extras she's included about um about author page here in the back acknowledgements always appreciated and if I get the pages apart, yep, and then Hay House's copyright information and the last pages for their app. If I can get my camera to focus, there is Chris. So yeah, a very interesting deck. I've also seen people use this as a chakra deck. Here are the backings. So for those of us that have the Light Sears Tarot, this particular design is going to look very familiar, only in different color scheme. 
All right, I'm gonna zoom in here. Hopefully get us as close as we can. And for those that are not familiar with uh, my quick flip throughs, I am here to show artwork, not to offer commentary. So I will flip through these very quickly. And because there is writing on this, um, feel free to hit the pause button as needed. And remember there are 67 cards. We'll discuss card stock afterward. I will get through these as quickly as I possibly can. So here we go. And that is the entire deck. I'm going to go ahead and bump you guys up a little bit. As you can see, the edges are not matted or gilded in anything. And it's kind of um, the matte, semi-gloss, cardstock. It's kind of similar to uh, the other deck Chrisanne does, which is the Light Sears Tarot. But the cards are, they feel a little bit thinner. I do have some bounce back, so you should be able to shuffle in any direction, um, riffle shuffle and probably bridge shuffle with no problem. Oh yeah, that totally snaps back really easy with a bridge shuffle. Um, and then of course there's no damage, hopefully you can see that, no damage on any of the edges for me doing that riffle shuffling or anything. So. This will probably hold up really well. So yeah, good, good cardstock. It doesn't have the rose petal finish, but it's more the um, semi-gloss matte cardstock, which is kind of, I guess you could say, trademark of Hay House. All right, my lovelies, that's it for my flip through. Feel free to let me know if you have this deck. If you do, um, how do you use it? What do you pair with it? If you had to rehome it, tell me why. Um, if you passed on buying this, tell me why. 
And of course, feel free to ask for a deeper dive into the usage of this deck. If you would like so, use the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.